लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन वायरस वायराइड प्रियॉन्स लाइकेंस एंड माइकोराइजा आर ऑफ विच स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द वायरसेस वायरसेस आर केप्ट अंडर किंगडम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फॉर क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म द ऑर्गेनिज्म मस्ट बी सेलुलर द ऑर्गेनिज्म मस्ट बी सेलुलर द क्राइटेरिया फॉर द क्लासिफिकेशन इज सेल्युलरिटी सेल्युलरिटी दैट इज ऑर्गेनिज्म मस्ट बी सेल्युलर दैट इज बॉडी ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म इज मेड अप ऑफ सेल इन दिस रिस्पेक्ट फॉर वायरसेस फॉर वायरसेस दे आर नॉन सेल्युलर वायरसेस आर non cellular viruses are non cellular that's why in any kingdom they can't be classified they cannot be classified under any kingdom they cannot be classified under any kingdom because they are non cellular because they are non cellular so as far as classification concern viruses cannot be classified under any kingdom next one discoverer of virus dj ivanovsky viruses were discovered by mr dj ivanovsky ivanovsky was russian botanist he was russian botanist discovered viruses in 1892 1892 he discovered tobacco mosaic virus he is the discoverer of tobacco mosaic virus one more information is related with the ivanovsky that is he is also described he sorry he also described filterable property of virus filterable property he also known for the this particular feature of virus that is filterable property that means viruses can pass through viruses can pass through bacteria proof filter viruses can pass through bacteria proof filter that means they are smaller than bacteria they are smaller than bacteria bejernik called them contagium vivum fluidum bejernik called viruses as contagium that is infectious vivum that is living fluidum that is fluid living infectious fluid for viruses this is this statement is given by mr bajernik stanley is known for the crystallization of viruses known for crystallization of viruses that is viruses can be obtained in the form of crystals according to wm stanley and toort toort and the herele discovered an extensively studied bacteriophage discovered and extensively studied extensively studied bacteriophage 
or simply we can say phase. Phase that is bacterial viruses. So, here the name of discoverer is asked that is why our answer is DJ Ivanovsky. Now, which structure is known as contagium vivum fluidum? Answer is very simple. I have already give the answer in the previous slide that is this is according to Bajernik. This was called them by Bajernik. Bajernik. William Bajernik called viruses as contagium vivum fluidum that is living infectious fluid. They are living infectious fluid. Mycoplasma, unicelled, prokaryote, pathogenic as well as free living, lichens, symbiotic association of algae and fungi, mycorrhiza, symbiotic association of the fungi with the roots of higher plant, these are the others. But here contagion vivum fluidum is asked, that is why the answer is viruses. Who showed that viruses can be obtained in the form of crystal? that is W. M. Stanley obtained viruses in the form of crystal crystals. He crystallized tobacco mosaic virus. He crystallized tobacco mosaic virus. That is why study of virus particle is possible. That is why the virus particle study is possible. Viruses are they are non-cellular. First of all they are non-cellular viruses are non-cellular. So, we cannot say them organism, they are entities or particle, they are entities or particle. And viruses have proteinous coat, proteinous coat and nucleic acid. These two are the common structure that is nucleic acid plus proteinous coat. Envelope is option, envelope envelope is optional may or may not be present envelope may or not be may or may not be envelope may or may not be possible that is some viruses are enveloped they have additional coat over the protein plus nucleic acid nucleic acid is in the center that is Na for nucleic acid surrounded by proteinous coat this is proteinous covering or coat this is proteinous covering or coat then envelope may or may not be present. What about the envelope may or may not be present that is this is outer covering envelope it is may or may not be present greenish color it is an option but these two are the main structure that is nucleic acid followed by the coat of protein so in this case question in this question our answer is protein coat plus nucleic acid protein coat plus nucleic acid the proteinous coat is known as capsid Proteinous coat is called capsid. Proteinous coat is known as capsid. This is suppose proteinous coat. This is proteinous coat of virus. And these are the subunits of this proteinous coat. Proteinous coat is called capsid. Whereas, whereas units of capsid, units of capsid are proteinous coat they are called capsomere they are called capsomere and this capsid this capsid encloses this capsid encloses the nucleic acid this is the nucleic acid of virus this is the nucleic acid of virus so this is capsid Then this is nucleic acid 
and these are the units of capsid that is capsomere. These are called capsomere. An envelope I have already mentioned it is optional. This is envelope may or may not be present. Here question is proteinous coat only proteinous coat is asked that is why our answer is capsid. What is virion that is complete virus particle is known as virion. Paplomer if there is a protein uh, nu uh, envelope of lipid you will see the some projection over there these are called paplomers. These are the projection over envelope known as paplomer. What are capsomeres? Already mentioned that is units of capsids are called capsomere. The viruses are very simple in a structure, very simple in a structure. Which a statement is true about the virion? That is last one. Infectious and fully complete virus particle is known as complete virus particle is known as virion. Genome of virus that is genetic material of virus. As far as genetic material, genetic material concern, viruses they have either DNA or RNA. In viruses. either DNA or RNA that is either of the two. If DNA is present then RNA is not there, if RNA is there then DNA is not there. Then again DNA either single stranded or double stranded similarly RNA either single stranded or double stranded. The four different types of possible virus particles are possible. Four different types of virus particles are possible that is D by 1 that is single stranded DNA containing virus, D by 2 that is double stranded, stranded DNA containing virus, R by 1 that is single stranded RNA containing virus and R by 2 that is double stranded RNA containing virus. But at a time out of these four only, only one is present only one is present. As far as tobacco mosaic virus concern as far as tobacco mosaic virus concern TMV has single stranded RNA TMV has single stranded RNA. Then one bacteriophage phi into 174 this is the name of bacterial phase phi into 174 phase it has single stranded DNA as genetic material. 54 which of the following statement is true about capsomere. Capsomere I have already mentioned they are the units of capsid that is individual of units of capsid is capsomere. So, this is correct answer others are wrong that is individual units of capsid or units of caps uh, units of capsids are called capsomere. Tobacco mosaic virus, it is helical rod shaped virus. This is helical rod, this is its genome, this is its genome, and over the genome, proteinous coat is there. These are the units capsomere, these are the units capsomere. This is the structure of TMV, structure of TMV, helical rod shape, helical rod shape structure, size of TMV 
300 nm into 18 nm this is the size of tmv question neat question neat or pre medical question neat or pre medical if it is asked in the angstrom unit then increase 1 0 increase 1 0 3000 angstrom into 180 angstrom genetic material of tmv tmv genetic material is r by 1 that is single stranded rna genetic material of tmv is single stranded rna and its molecular weight is 2.06 million or 10 raised to power 6 dalton this is molecular weight of tobacco mosaic virus rna rna molecular weight its percentage approximate 5% and vary on then capsid has 2130 capsomere capsid of tmv composed of 2130 capsomeres these are the structural detail these are the structural detail of tobacco mosaic virus this is size shape size 300 into 18 nm shape helical rod shape this is the its genetic material that is r by 1 and it is molecular weight of tmv 2.06 into 10 to the power 6 and this is the number of capsomere associated with the capsid associated with the capsid and the word mosaic is given mosaic is a disease symptom of a disease mosaic m for mosaic mosaic means a symptom of viral disease in plant mosaicness that is irregular pigmentation is seen over the leaves so that is mosaic tobacco is the host tobacco plant is a host genome of tmv already described that is single stranded rna that is single stranded rna then t2 it's a bacteriophage tobacco uh, t2 is bacteriophage t2 is bacteriophage it has complex structure complex structure complex structure with head and tail there are two parts in this structure head and tail t2 phase with head and tail head is angular head is angular like this and this angular head this is proteinous coat capsid and within the head region within the head region its genetic material is present this is the t2 phase genetic material it is d by 2 that is double stranded dna d by 2 that is double stranded dna found in the head region found in the head region in between head and tail collar is present this is collar then contractile tail this is contractile tail this one is contractile hollow contractile tail it is also covered by sheath it is also covered by the sheath like this this tail is also covered by sheath then at the base tail plate is present this is tail plate with six tail fiber 1 2 3 4 5 6 six tail fibers are there six tail fibers are there and along with six tail fiber six spikes are also present six spikes and six tail fibers fibers for attachment only 
they are not for locomotion fibers are attachment only that is with the with the with the with the help of these fibers virus can attach itself on bacteria phase that is bacteriophage what is phase bacteriophage host is bacterial cell host is bacterial cell so they are called bacteriophage and they are also T2 phase is a coli phase because its host is Escherichia coli. It is coli phase. It is coli phase that is host is Escherichia coli. Host is Escherichia coli. And the genetic material I have already mentioned double stranded DNA. There are two part of its structure that is head and this is tail and these are the tail fibers. Genetic material double stranded DNA this is the rough structural detail of the T2 phase. T2 phase and genetic material I have already mentioned that is double stranded DNA found in the head region only found in head region only and there are two structural part head and tail so we can use the word biennial symmetry biennial symmetry now infectious rna particle that is they have genetic material rna only and it is not covered by any proteinous coat this is the case of viroid this is the case of viroid viroids were studied by t o diner this is correct T O Diner he reported single stranded RNA as pathogenic thread single stranded RNA as pathogenic thread it is not covered by any structure or any proteinous covering simply this RNA it is a pathogenic and the first Viroid which was reported by him is termed as PSTV potato spindle tuber viroid and PST is disease actually potato spindle tuber potato tuber becomes a spindle like elongated a spindle like actually potato tuber becomes elongated and spindle like so potato spindle tuber disease is caused by viroid caused by viroid. Prions are pathogenic particle, pathogenic proteinous particle, no nucleic acid, pathogenic proteinous particle, without nucleic acid, without nucleic acid. And they are also patho they are also causative agent of various disease. Disease like Crutzfeld Jacob disease caused by prion, Crutzfeld Jacob disease, mad cow disease, BSC that is bovine spongy form encephalopathy, various types of diseases are there caused by prion, and all of them are concerned with the central nervous system. Central nervous system. But here the question is infectious RNA particle. The question is actually asked for the RNA infectious particle. That case the answer is viroid. Where what is virucide? Viruses within viruses, virucide. Virus within viruses are called virucides. Next one, viral genome. Question number next, 59. It is inserted to the bacterial DNA. See this one. This is bacterial cell. This is bacterial genome. Now, virus attacks on this structure. This is the bacterial virus. it attacks bacterial cell 
and attaches itself through their fiber and genome from the head region is passed in this structure this is viral genome genome which is in the head region of virus is now injected into the bacterial cell so this is the viral genome in bacterial cell and you see this viral genome this viral genome actually incorporated with the bacterial genome this viral genome actually become the part of bacterial genome that is attaches itself it attaches itself on bacterial genome this is the basically our question that is viral genome inserted into the bacterial dna red one is bacterial dna and this is viral dna this is viral dna it is associated with the bacterial dna this inert viral genome this inert viral genome is called prophage and lysogeny means coexistence of two genome in one cell what is lysogeny coexistence of two genomes in one cell one is viral genome other one is bacterial genome this is lysogeny what is lysogeny again coexistence of two genomes in one cell that is lysogeny then integrated viral genome with the bacterial genome that viral genome is known as prophage in lytic cycle virus under uh, virus enters in the bacterial cell makes its copy that is approximate 200 copies are made and after that the, there is a lysis of wall and number of particles are released lysis of wall and number of bacterial bacteriophage particles are released in uh, and it is shown by the virulent lytic cycle is shown by the virulent phase now next one symbiotic association of algae and fungi this is known as lichens this is known as lichens algal partner is known as phycobiont algal partner is known as phycobiont in this relationship whereas fungal partner is known as mycobiont fungal partner is known as mycobiont dominant partner fungal partner approximate 90 plus percent is part of is contributed by the fungal partner and less than 10 percent part is contributed by the mycobiont in this association and their relationship that is algae and fungi relationship between them is mutual that is both the partners get benefited mutual relationship is seen in between them that is plus plus both the partners get benefit algae from fungi and fungi from algae mutual and obligatory in absence of either of the member the growth will be badly affected so such association is known as lichen such association is known as lichens then in this association that is algal and fungal relationships in lichen is halotism this is master slave relationship in which master is fungi fungi as master fungi as master in this relationship slave is algae slave is algae that is there is a controlled parasitism of fungi over algae controlled parasitism of the fungi over the algae this type of association is known as halotism this is called halotism lichens are very good indicator of sulfur dioxide pollution where the area if it is heavily polluted with the sulfur dioxide 
lichens can't survive in that environment lichens can't survive in sulfur dioxide con uh, containing pollutant then lichens they are the source of litmus yes this one is rosella tinctoria the full name is rosella tinctoria tinctoria a source of litmus and what is litmus acid base indicator litmus is acid base indicator asnia uses medicine as well as responsible for forest fire cladonia rangifera cladonia rangifera is lichen and parmelia is also lichens cladonia rangifera lichen and parmelia are the, all these are lichen but rosella is source of rosella is source of litmus question pre medical symbiotic relationships of fungi question 64 symbiotic relationship between fungi and the roots of fire plant this is called mycorrhiza myco word is for fungus rhiza for root myco word is for the fungus and rhiza for the root rise up for root there are two types of mycorrhiza number 1 ectomycorrhiza ectomycorrhiza number 1 ectomycorrhiza in this case fungal partner penetrates root fungal partner penetrates the root these are the root cells and let's see the fungal partner fungal partner penetrates the root but it does not penetrate cells it is present in between the cells that is penetrates root but it is present in between cell that is in intercellular space such mycorrhiza is known as ectomycorrhiza an ectomycorrhiza is seen in pinus mycorrhizic root of pinus good example of ectomycorrhiza then second type of mycorrhiza is endomycorrhiza second type of mycorrhiza is endomycorrhiza this is root epidermis these are the epidermal cells these are the epidermal cell and these are the cortical cells of root these are the cortical cells of root fungal partner enters in the root and enters in the cell as well enters in the root and enters in the cell as well and in some cell it forms vesicular structure where is another cell it forms fibrous branch structure known as arbuscule so vesicular arbuscular mycorrhizae wen full form is wen vesicular arbuscular mycorrhizae these are endomycorrhiza these are endomycorrhiza and in this case myco fungus penetrates roots as well as cell but the entry is controlled there is no harm to the cell in which it enters there is no harm to those cells which in which they enter mycorrhiza that is fungal partner actually covers root so that's why root hair and root cap are not found in mycorrhizic root and both the functions are performed by the fungi fungi protects the root as well as absorption of water and minerals and pass them to the host plant on which it is associated in response to these activity 
root provides nourishment to fungus root is source of nourishment to the fungus whereas minerals and water absorption by the fungal partner provide to the root and protect as well protect as well this is mycorrhizic root endomycorrhiza is seen in orchids this is seen in orchids root seen in orchids root then mycorrhiza useful for plants fixing atmospheric nitrogen no enhance the absorption of nutrient from the soil yes it is absolutely right killing insect and pathogens no provides resistance against abiotic factor no better option out of these four that is absorption of minerals from the soil absorption of minerals from soil perform the function of root hair that's all about the mycorrhiza as well as biological classification thank you